Hey, Trish, how you doing? Good evening, good evening, Queen. How are you doing this Saturday evening? I'm just up here sharing a live link to my uh, Facebook Facebook page. Okay, I got to share it on my Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on YouTube. And you guys, make sure you do uh, follow me on my on my Instagram channel, which is uh, Tanya Primetime TV. All one word. All one word. Thank you. It's like a little different. You know, a little different. <laughs> I was wearing the black hair for a long time. <clears throat> hey, Kim on Instagram. My favorite photographer. <clears throat> I'm on Instagram and YouTube at the same time. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Kim, I need to holler at you anyway. You know, Cam graduates soon, and I know you be uh getting booked up with graduation uh, appointments. But Cam wants to uh, Cam wants his pictures taken in the snow, so that's why I haven't hit you up yet. <laughs> because I mean, how can we schedule <laughs> when the snow comes if we don't know when the snow coming? And it's actually supposed to snow tomorrow. What a coincidence! But that boy is crazy of mine. He wants to uh he wants his pictures in the snow. So mm. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. <laughs> it's senior pics, whatever. What you fixing to eat? Fixing to eat, Trish. Oh, you tell Darian he was cheating. The other day when we was doing um the game on your uh YouTube channel. The brain thinking game. <laughs> Tell Darian he was cheating. <laughs> I was like, dang, why my uh my cell phone see is different, I guess, on your cell phone. Because when you're on YouTube and you comment in the chats, I came to realize that when my cell phone was showing me that I was uh commenting before people on the actual computer on the YouTube chat, it would have me behind people. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? Why I keep saying on my phone that I said it before Darian or whoever else was playing the game. And then on the computer was saying they said it before me. So I'm like, okay, I ain't going to be on the phone and on the uh, computer at the same time. <laughs> that sounds good. Turkey salad with avocado and kale? Mmm. Mmm. That sounds good. I'm not a big fan of avocado, but I do eat it sometimes on occasions. On occasions. But anyway, how was everybody's holiday? Hopefully everybody had a wonderful holiday, wonderful weekend. It's about to be Sunday, almost Monday. Trying to get back on the grind for everybody who was off for the holidays, including me. Including me. I've been off since, when was I off? Wednesday? Yep, I've been off since Wednesday, besides uh, baking a cake, having some cake orders for the holiday and some cake orders today for a funeral. Um, it's different. I'll, I'll try it. I'm willing to try anything different. I, I'm willing to try anything once. Anything wants. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, yesterday, what did I eat today? What's today? Saturday? Um, no, yesterday I had leftovers from Thanksgiving. And today, what did I eat? Oh, God. I think I ate cereal for breakfast. And I think I had like a lean cuisine for lunch. 
And then we went to the movies to see uh um what's that movie? Uh Widows. We went to see Widows, so I had popcorn. <laughs> So I didn't eat, eat too much today. But that movie was really good. Has anybody seen the movie yet? Widows? With Viola Davis? It was really good. I, I definitely would recommend it. I definitely would recommend it. I sure would. And I love me some Viola Davis anyway. Anyway. Uh, and I'm not going to give away no... um. I'm not going to give away any parts of the movies uh, because I know it just literally came out. So I'm not going to give out any spoilers, but you know I do reviews. So probably next week, I'm going to give y'all about a week or so to go see that movie. And then me and my uh, my sister friend, Samantha, we're going to do a review because you know I started um, Sisters from Another Mister movie reviews. I started that last month. And basically what that is, um, we go, me and Sam will go see a movie and we'll do a review on it. You know, kind of like a Cisco Ebert type of thing. <laughs> and we'll do a review on it. But yeah, that movie was really, really good. Um, it, and it had some big stars in there. It had, uh, well, of course, you know, Viola Davis was in there. Um, what is that Mexican girl's name? Hold on one second. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I came up with movie reviews because you guys know I normally do. Uh, I normally do TV shows, you know, reality shows and uh, and uh, celebrity news, you know, trend news, you know, things like that. But. We had went to the movies one time. We went to see, actually, we went to see uh, the new Halloween last month because I love scary movies. And she wanted to go with me. So I was like, okay, cool. We're going to go see Halloween. We went to see Halloween. And it was really good. I liked it. I, I really liked it. And then, you know, I was like, we have to do a review on this movie. So she was like, I, I want to do it with you. So we did it. We did. And then I was like, well, what if we did this like occasionally, you know, just, you know, not an everyday or every week thing, but like once a month, go to movies. Most people go to the movies once a month anyway and um, do a review on it. And I did a review on Halloween, the newest one, because a lot of people didn't realize that the Halloween movie, they was thinking it was just like a continuation of the latest one. They was like, well, hold up. I thought the dude died. I thought she killed him. I thought, how he come back now? You know, and everybody's like, you know, I don't even want to go see it. This some bull. But I did a review on it because um, Michael, it was basically like when he had killed the kid, um, his sibling, you know, back in the day, you know, the first, the first Halloween, basically just imagine none of the other Halloweens happened after that. And he got in trouble. He got charged. He got arrested for that first murder. And then he went to uh, prison and he was in prison for years. I think it was like 20 some years or something. And then he gets out. And Jamie Lee Curtis has to go after him. So basically, it's like a sequel to the very first Halloween. So all the other Halloweens don't even happen. It's just like, you know, you saw the first one. He went to prison for 20 some years. Now he's out. So that's that's why I did a review on that one. But that was really good, too. I really enjoyed that one. You don't like scary movies, Trish? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> I love him. I love him. Yes, he was in an asylum. It was like a, it wasn't, it, well, I don't know if I would call it an asylum. I guess you can. It was, it was like prison. I mean, they were locked up and it was like, um, I guess you know how some people play schizo or uh, they play crazy and they go to, you know, they go to court and a judge or whoever proves them to be incompetent. You know what I mean? And instead of going to the main prison, 
with regular inmates they go to like a uh like an institution a mental place or something that's where he was for all them years that's where he was so but it was good i mean it was good and it was really gory it was like if you like gory if you like okay if you're a fan of like saw like i'm a huge fan of saw i got every single movie every single uh dvd on saw where it's like real gory and real messy and all that um it is probably the most goriest halloween movie i've ever seen so if you don't like that kind of stuff yeah, you shouldn't go see that. But for those who did see the movie, um, make sure you look on my Tanya's Primetime TV Media Reviews channel because I did do a review on Halloween. So, anywho, um, yeah, the movie tonight, uh, Widows, it was really good. <laughs> oh, you don't like Saw either? Yeah, I love Saw. <laughs> I like Saw. Jigsaw, yes, yes, I like Saw. Um, but, yeah, the movie tonight was... Uh, Viola Davis, um, like I said, it had some uh, big stars in there. Uh, it had Michelle Rodriguez. She was in there. Um, what's his name? Uh, the guy who played Harry. Oh, Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. Y'all know him, Liam Neeson. So he's like he's like a really big uh, movie star. He's in there too, and, and you know some other people. But it was really good. Um, I would, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to give any spoilers on Widows because it just came out. But uh, it kind of it kind of gave me a feeling as far as the ladies, because if you saw all the reviews, you already know that basically a set of ladies. All their husbands get killed. I'll say this much because it's in the reviews. I mean, it's in the previews. Um, but all the ladies' husbands, the set of ladies, all their husbands, uh, and mind you, the ladies, they never knew each other. They didn't know anything about each other. But anyway, all their husbands uh, got killed. And again, this isn't a spoiler. It's in the reviews. And these ladies have to basically come up with the money that can't that disappeared that their husband stole from some gangster guy or something but it gives me um it gives me set it off i'll just say that it gives me set it off definitely definitely the way these ladies were moving and acting and I'm just, I'm not going to give you no spoilers it was really good that's all i got to say and if you're a fan of Viola Davis, especially in um, How to Get Away with Murder, you will definitely, you will definitely love Widows. So make sure you go see that because, again, I'll be giving a review probably within a week or so on that movie so we can discuss that movie. But um, as far as this particular live tonight, um, I had titled it, What Kind of YouTuber Are You? Yes, you love Viola. Yes, I love her in general. I do. I really do. And this and this movie just made her seem like a badass. Like, okay, you know, and uh, how to give a baby to murder. You know, she's all smart and intelligent, and you know, this movie just took that up a couple of notches, a couple of notches. So, like I said, if you love how to get away with murder and you love Viola Davis, period. Like period, <laughs> you would definitely love this. <laughs> you would definitely love that movie. But um, oh yeah, set it off too. I'm telling you, when I was watching it, I was like, oh dang, oh dang. Why am I feeling like I'm watching Set It Off? Like it's good. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> it was good. Um, but I do want to give a shout out to some of our YouTubers out here. Um, the name of this live, I titled it, What Kind of YouTuber Are You? I made this live because most of us on YouTube, we come across each other pages, we come across each other lives, we come across each other's drama, <laughs> we come across um, 
people's everyday lives, um, personal situations. We didn't seen it all. We didn't heard it all. We didn't witness it all. I, for one, before I started YouTube, could have never imagined, never ever imagined what I experienced with YouTube. Like I mentioned before on a different live, um, before I was a YouTuber, I only came on YouTube to like, I mean, I would be like one of those people on Facebook and you see a, so somebody post a video or share a video on their page and uh, it looked like something funny or something intriguing or maybe it was a recipe or it was a comedian and I would click it and, oh, you know, watch it on YouTube and I would back out and go on about my business. But once I uh, started my YouTube channel, I was like, holy moly, what in the heavens? It, where am I? It was, it's like a different world. It's like a different world. And I want to give a shout out to some of my favorite YouTubers and YouTubers that I really don't even know that well. I'm, I'm just, you know, meeting them, coming across them. But it's like so much negativity on YouTube that we talk about all the time. There's positive stuff, too. Positive stuff, too. There's YouTubers who are very positive. Um, and then there's YouTubers who... It's like every time you come across their page, it's like... Rah! Yeah, rah! Who they yelling at now? Who they screaming at now? Who they going off on now? Who they who they beefing with now? <laughs> so you know, um, I want I just want to give uh some shout outs to some of the YouTubers on here, um, uh, who are very supportive of our newest of our of the newer you know the upcoming YouTubers. And one of them is Shiz Trish. She's on the live right now. So I want to give a shout out to you. Um, I want to give a shout out to Jay Wilson. A lot of people uh, find Jay Wilson to be kind of controversial sometimes. Well, maybe more than sometimes. <laughs> some people like him. Some people don't like him. But you know... You can't please everybody. That's one thing I learned about YouTube. You cannot please everybody, no matter how hard you try. And once you try and try, you just finally get it. You're like, okay, you're either going to love me or you're going to hate me. But respect me. And, and that's the bottom line with YouTube. You got you to gotta earn your respect. You definitely have to earn your respect. Uh, one way to earn your respect you definitely can't be in these YouTube streets being messy all the time. That's one thing for sure. Um, another uh, YouTuber that I want to uh, give a shout out to. Oh, yeah, I definitely respect Jay Wilson. I love him. Um, he, uh, I keep telling him I go down to Texas every few years. And when I go down there next year, I'm going to make him a personal cake and hand deliver it to him. <laughs> If he see this live, he might he might hear it. But if he don't see this live, it'll be a surprise. Because <laughs> he's been asking me for some of my cakes for a while now. And so I plan to hand deliver him a cake. Um, so that's, that's the plan. But anyway, another one of the YouTubers who I wanted to acknowledge is Miss Gina. And Trish, you know Miss Gina. Miss Gina, she is such a such a wonderful person such a wonderful spirit a beautiful spirit a lovely soul i love her and i heard before how some people are like you shouldn't like get so attached to youtubers on youtube you know because of all the stuff that goes on on youtube but i genuinely know um i have a knack for knowing good people I'm a people person. I am truly like a people person. Um, I've always been a people person. Always. So I know good people when I see good people. I just I just know. Um, it doesn't take me that long to realize that they have a good heart. Um, but yeah, 
So I want to give uh, Miss Trish, Shish Trish, Jay Wilson, um, Miss Gina, Queen of Talk, you guys who aren't subscribed to their channels, make sure you check their channels out. Go over to their channels and support them because they are like um, really supportive, you know, of us smaller YouTubers, upcoming YouTubers, and generally good people overall. Overall. Um, so like I said, I definitely want to give a shout out to those. I also want to give a shout out to other YouTubers who support upcoming YouTubers. Um, one of them is, I think it's, I think her name is, if I'm saying it wrong, y'all please correct me if y'all know who I'm referring to, but I think her YouTube channel is Boss Lady TV. New Jersey, something like that, something like that. I, I let me look it up because I don't want to give the wrong information. I hate to give the wrong information. Um, you know it, Trish, offhand. Let me see. Cause there's a there's a couple of folks on here. I just hate to give out wrong information, so let me um make sure. Cause it's Boss Lady TV. She's really cool too. I like her channel. <laughs> I like I like different channels. I don't like to like. I mean, there's so many people out here. Oh yes, Boss Lady Talk, NJ TV, Boss Lady Talk, NJ TV. I've been following her for a minute, and she be having me cracking up like for real. <laughs> she be having me cracking up, but um, yeah, it's. It's a, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot more YouTubers out here who are really, really good. Um, a lot of them are more positive than negative. I know sometimes, sometimes as a YouTuber, you're gonna have to deal with some controversial issues. Um, so I mean, that's just. I haven't even been on YouTube that long, and I, I just know that. I know that much. You're going to have to deal with controversial issues. You might have to deal with somebody being a hater, being a troll on your page. Ugh, I hate trolls. I really hate trolls. Um, but sometimes a person will say, don't follow that person. Don't subscribe to that person. That person messy. That person this. That person that. And you should never just listen to what somebody's saying in that regard about another YouTuber before you see it for yourself. It's just like in real life situations. If you're at school, if you're at work, if you're at church, you know, wherever. And somebody says, oh, don't mess with that person. That person ain't no good. That person ain't no, you know what I'm saying? So you sometimes you just have to check people out for yourself. Hey, Darian, you know you was cheating the other night on them games. You was cheating. You had a trigger finger. <laughs> he had a trigger finger. <laughs> I'm like, dang, how Darian getting all these answers so fast? <laughs> Since Trish said she ain't going live tonight. <laughs> she said, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Yes, yes, Trish. I know you was going off on them trolls. <laughs> you was going off on them trolls the other day. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> but oh, oh my, <laughs> that was funny. I was just sitting there in the cut. I was sitting there in the cut listening and watching. Y'all know me. I be, when y'all be up late night, I, I be, I'm, I'm there. I'm there. Because for one, um, most people who, you know, know the bake life, um, we bake at night normally. 
as far as like cake decorators, um, we bake at night. And it's per it's perfect timing because you bake at night, you let your cakes cool and stiffen up and you know firm up, you know, all night long. And then in the morning time or the next day, that's when you make your frostings and your colors and your toppings and whatever else. And, you know, for your cakes. So, Trish, Trish, you already know. When you be up late at night, I'll be on there. Watch, I'll be like, I'm watching. I might not can type right now, but I'm watching. <laughs> I'm mixing up batters and throwing cakes in and out the oven, but I'm watching. Hold on, I'm about to pull this up real quick. I want you guys to... Uh, Excuse me. Let's see. It is on point. I'm like, what? I was like, uh, I'm a loser. I'm a loser. <laughs> oh, but then y'all got way ahead of me because I had to take a break because I had to take my cakes out and mix my batter up for the next set of cakes. And so I had told you I'll be back. By the time I came back, Darian had like 50 points. And I can't remember the other girl that was playing as well. But you guys, she had she had more points than me, and she started after me. I like, it, it, it ain't even no use. I might as well just quit. Call it a night. Just call it a night. <laughs> but um, you guys... I had titled this, uh, I know, I know, I need a trophy, Trish. <laughs> I had titled this um, video, What Kind of YouTuber Are You? What kind of YouTuber are you? Ashley Lucas, that was her name. Yep, that's her. That's her. That is her. Um, I had came across a website um, that was kind of like giving tips on, you know, YouTube or how to go about becoming a YouTuber. And one thing that it definitely said that you should do as a YouTuber, um, and I see a lot of you guys on here that follow me when I be on your channels, I do see you do this, but <clears throat> Um, address your subscribers, especially if you're live. Address your subscribers, especially if you're live. Um, as you start posting content, people will likely begin to comment on your videos and leave you messages. Come on, Darren. We need you to get out there now. Trish, Trish, you need to get on Darian and have him get us some content. Like, okay, I'm going to give you Darian. I'm going to give you until New Year's Eve. <laughs> Darian, you have until New Year's Eve to get us some content on your channel. Because I know that you are going will have a great channel. I just know. <laughs> I just know. But when you do have your channel and you are corresponding with your subscribers, like I didn't been to some people's channels and people be all up in the chat and they just be ignoring all they people in the chat. People be talking to them. And I mean, that's one way. That's a very good opportunity for you to build, you know, a reputation as someone who uh, someone who reads their user feedback, you know, and it can help in your creation process. And then, of course, once your channel starts growing, you know, it's a little harder to uh, keep up with every single comment. And that's why they have that. Uh, where you can slow your chat down. <laughs> yes, we're going to get you together. We need to find himself. Help him find himself. 
<laughs> but even if you can't keep up with your chat and can't comment to every, I mean, you're not always going to be able to comment to every single person, but make sure, you know, especially after the video is over, when somebody comments on your stuff, you know, hit them back about whatever they, you know, were speaking about, whatever they left in the comment section, unless it's a troll. <laughs> Unless it's a troll. <laughs> and I, again, I cannot stand trolls. Trolls have a, have a, a certain spot in hell waiting for them. <laughs> but, um, also one thing I had, uh, saw, I'm up here trying to look at my notes. Do, 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 do. Did she, he said Charlemagne. I know. I, I have listened to him over the phone and have, you know, watched him in the chat. That's why I'm like, uh, Darian, what are you waiting for? What's that song? What are you waiting for? But then I know some people don't like to go live. I hear this all the time. Some people don't like to go live. Some YouTubers like me, again, I'm a people person. Um, Y'all can probably tell that from my live videos. Um, sometimes I record and upload a video just to let y'all know that I'm about to go live on my other channel. But normally I always go live. Um, for those who feel uncomfortable going live, um, who was that? I can't remember. It was a it was a YouTuber the other day on somebody's chat, and they said they don't go live because they uh, be all over the place, or they be rambling, or something like that. For those who, oh yeah, I, who was it? Was it Boss? I think it was Boss. <laughs> and she was saying how, you know, um, she used to hate going live or something because she would ramble or uh, she would be all over the place. And sometimes what I know, when I first started YouTube, I don't know if some of you guys as well, but when I first started YouTube, I would upload videos. And when I would upload the videos... I would be up there recording ahead of time before I would upload them. And I would redo the video over and over and over again because I said something incorrectly or I pronounced my name wrong or I was speaking about the wrong person at the wrong time, stuff like that. So I was just like, F it. I'm going to go live. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> If I mess up or misread a name or accidentally I'm supposed to be talking about April and I mentioned John, you know, after the video is over, I'll just comment in the chat, comment in the comment section. My bad. What I meant to say was such and such. You know, but going live is like the best way to, you know, to basically, uh, as far as like your subscribers, you kind of build some kind of repertoire, you know, with your subscribers and you really get to get to know and get to fill out your subscribers. That's why I like going live. So Darian, when you do get your channel content up and running, you're going to have to go live, buddy. Maybe not all the time, but sometimes so we can go back and forth with you and, you know, <laughs> Call in, call in and talk mess to you. <laughs> Shush, Trish, I, I get it. I get it. I absolutely agree. Yes, I was going to say her, Darian. I was going to say her, too. I was going to say her, too. Lockhead, Lockhead and Boss Lady. Yep. I was going to say Lockhead. And matter of fact, Lockhead had a live tonight and she had told me to make sure I come, but I was going to, I had already had planned to go see the movie Widows. So I told her, I was like, man, if I get back in time and y'all still live, you know, I'll join the live. But I love them people because, and Lockhead and Boss Lady, I might not know as well as Shish 
and uh, Jay Wilson and uh, Queen um, Gina. But what I love about them is they are YouTube supporters. They are YouTube supporters. Some people, like they say, some people will charge you $50, $100 or more to just put the name of your channel on their chat or the link to your channel on their chat. Like, you got hundreds of thousands and millions of followers and you going to get upset if somebody put, somebody say on their chat, uh, hey, you guys, check out my channel. You know, <laughs> I will never pay anybody to let me uh, do that on their channel. <laughs> and that's cool. That's cool. Uh, one thing about starting your channel is you definitely got to know what you want your content to be about. You definitely have to let them know because you definitely have to determine your reason for posting on YouTube. Definitely. And one thing that I saw, um, as far as like for those people who actually want to make it a career. Now I know most of us on here do not try to make YouTube a career. I like my um day job. <laughs> I like my day job, and I got some good benefits. And I love baking. I love cake decorating. I love putting something sweet in somebody's mouth. <laughs> But, um, I, you know, I like what I do. YouTube is just like something on the side, something fun to do. You know, if you get compensated, if you get monetized, if you, you know, that's just extra money, you know, like a part-time job, just extra money. But for those people who are trying to make it a career, um, what the website was saying for that was, uh, you want to try to make your videos as professional looking as possible. Um, this includes actually researching your topics. Y'all see that side eye? Researching your topics. <laughs> but um, use your creative freedom. Use your creative freedom when you post. And also, um, what else did I come across? Let's see. I'm up here looking at my notes. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, 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 oh. What I was saying earlier about the people who don't like going live. For the people who don't like going live, just write notes. Take notes. Um, or memorize, you know, a short script before recording of what you want to talk about. Um I mean, I do so many reviews. I ain't going to lie. Y'all probably know this when I do my reviews. Y'all know this I... Uh, sometimes read from my notes. I do like read, oh God, like probably eight, eight, ten reviews on eight, ten different shows a week, and sometimes trending news and celebrity news. So I take notes. So that's a that's a good key when you go on live. I, I take notes. I don't never come to y'all live with no review without no notes. <laughs> Especially if it's a show with like 50 different characters. <laughs> Shoot. You're welcome, Darian. <laughs> you are so very welcome. <laughs> but I mean, these are just things that I'm learning as I go. And I'm not a big YouTuber, but I just feel like, you know, if we got some kind of information that can help other YouTubers, why not share it? And that's why I shouted out all the people I did on this video. You know, the ones who are very supportive of YouTubers, upcoming YouTubers. Because if a lot of people are scared to get on YouTube, they're scared. And they say, if you're going to jump in on YouTube streets, you got to have some tough skin. Some very tough skin. I have two channels. Tanya Knows No Limit. And I also have Tanya's Primetime TV media reviews. So I have two channels. Um, I actually started a third one 
probably about a few months ago for cake decorating. I just haven't started it or haven't put any content on there yet because I have to get, uh, I need to get some cameras and stuff. Because one thing about cake decorating, if you ever seen a cake decorating video, to bake an average cake and decorate it like professionally looking as I do so well, <laughs> um, it takes time. So it, it takes time to do that. And if you're not, if the, if the cake is not for a customer, it's like you just taking time to make this cake and it might take you three hours and you can't put the whole three hour video on there. So of course, you know, I have to buy a camera. I have to chop it up. I have to, you know, edit it and all that kind of stuff, you know? So that's why I haven't done any editing yet because I want to, uh, get lights and I want to get cameras and I want to get a tripod and I want to get, you know, other stuff, uh, making cake decorating videos is a lot more complicated than just doing a TV review. <laughs> <laughs> right shish and that's what i was saying i mean i got a couple of green screens um but yeah i definitely need a camera a nice camera you know for to do my cake decorating but uh in, in the meantime and in between time i just use my facebook page for advertisement tanya's delight slice by slice um Tanya's Delight, Slice by Slice. Matter of fact, I'm going to uh, pull up the page now so I can put the link in there. Just for people who want to follow me over there, if you want to follow me on my um, cake decorating page on Facebook, I'll put the link in there. And also, you guys, don't forget, we have a Facebook group, Tanya's Primetime TV slash Media Reviews. We have a Facebook group. All you have to do is go over to Facebook and um, go to the group, request to join, and I'll add you to the group. And for those of you who might want the link, I'll put the link in the chat as well for our Facebook group. Thank you, Darian. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When I was on live with y'all last night, matter of fact, let me show y'all the cake that I was making last night. Was that last night, Trish, when we was on live and we was playing the game? Or was that the night before? No, it was last night, wasn't it? Yeah, it was last night. Duh. Well, okay, let me show y'all the cake I made last night. When I was on live trying to play the game with Shish Trish when Darian was cheating. <laughs> Y'all took advantage of me because I couldn't concentrate the entire time. <laughs> but, um, here we go. Tanya's Delights, slice by slice. And the cake that I had made that I was working on last night, I was cooking it last night when I was on live with uh, Darren and y'all. Um, it was for a, a guy who uh, actually passed away um, the night before. Yeah, it was last night. <laughs> If it wasn't last night, then whose life was I on if it wasn't last night? It had to be last night. <laughs> but anywho, um, I was on somebody's last live last I could have sworn it was you, Trish, last night. But anywho, anywho. Okay, the cake I made last night, it was for actually um, some guy who had just passed. And he had turned 30 uh, while he was in the hospital. And he passed away in the hospital right after he turned 30. And so 
his auntie, which is a good friend of mine, um, we worked together at the nursing home before, uh, she had asked me to make a cake for the repast. So, anywho, here's my Tanya's Alike Facebook page. <clears throat> and here's the cake that I made. Let me blow it up a little bigger. She wanted it to be blue and yellow. All the people at the funeral home. I mean, not the funeral home, but all the people at the funeral on the repast, they were they were wearing like blue T-shirts with like his name on the back and stuff. And I, I guess blue and gold was maybe his favorite colors or I, I don't know. But that's the color of the cake they wanted. He had turned 30 and she wanted a picture of a Scorpio on there because, you know, that's his sign. And then she sent me a picture and asked me, could I put a picture of him and some of his, you know, fam? uh on the cake so i do have an edible edible printer that i work with so i can print off edible sheets on cakes so that is what i was working on last night when i was on live with somebody i could have sworn it was shiz trish but shiz trish telling me that ain't so <laughs> i'm like well if it ain't you then who the heck was it then But anywho, yeah, it was sad. And you know, when I uh get orders like that for funerals or repasses or when people see like I did this one cake, uh oh gosh, this little girl, she was in the hospital and she had just had I think she turned how old did she turn? Was it 12? No, 10. I think she had just turned 10 years old. And her grandpa had asked me to make a cake for her. And she's like such the cutest little thing. And so when I make cakes like that for people who are sick or... And I give away a lot of cakes. I, I've been doing that forever. But I have free cake contests every month. I give away cakes, funerals, and, you know, all kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, the little girl had turned 10 and she was in the hospital for surgery and he had one of the strawberry crunch, uh, shortcake cheesecake that I make, which is like one of my really popular cakes. So, <clears throat> yeah, here's the cake that I had made her, the strawberry crunch shortcake cheesecake. She was actually mauled by a pit bull in our city. And she was mauled really, it was it was pretty bad. She was in the hospital for a long time. And she had turned 10 in the hospital. And her grandpa asked me to make her a cake for her 10th birthday because she was in the hospital. So I made that cake for her. But yeah, I do um, stuff all the time. Just on GP a lot of times making cakes for funerals and churches and you know just stuff like that just try to give back every now and then you know you know you always got to remember to give back to your community <laughs> because it's the community that supports you and that's that's same thing about YouTube same thing about YouTube when you have supporters on YouTube you have to make sure you support them as well So, that's all I have to say about that. I'm trying to, uh, uh, you always beat every one of the challenges. Wait, yes, it was. It was, Trish. Sorry, I'm sleepy. I thought it was last night. Y'all up here got me tripping. I'm like, I know I was cooking that cake last night when I was trying to play a game. <laughs> yes, Darian. <laughs> I do giveaways. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. I do giveaways. But yeah, check out my Facebook page, The Times Delight Slice by Slice. I announce my giveaways on there all the time. 
Yep. It's something I love to do. I love to bake. I love to decorate. Um, my slogan is putting a smile on your face one slice at a time. Thus, the name of my company, Tanya's Delight, Slice by Slice. But, yep. So, uh, yeah, check me out over there. And make sure you guys, um, hey, Miss Hall. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Thank you very much. When I, Like I said, when I make cakes for certain situations like that, I tend to try to put more love into it, try to get a little more creative. But then when one thing for show, when it's a guy, I don't know if there's any cake decorators watching or subscribe to my channel, but it is so hard to make a cake for a guy, for a man, because cakes are usually frilly. <laughs> they are usually frilly, especially if they are for a female. <laughs> but when it's, when you got to make a cake for a guy, you have to try to make it look really, really nice, but not too frilly. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of hard sometimes, you know, making cakes for guys. Because you don't want to put a whole bunch of roses on it and a whole bunch of, you know, rosettes and, you know, <laughs> things like that. But yeah, it's important. But y'all, what y'all got planned for tomorrow? I think I'm going to be in the crib, chillaxing. I went to Wally World tonight after we came from the movies. And uh, you said, do you do extravagant royal wedding cakes? Shush, Trish, I do whatever people ask me to do. <laughs> I do whatever people ask me to do. Um, I'm a custom cake decorator. So if they ask me to, you know, make them a particular cake, whether it's blinged out, whether it's, uh, you know, <clears throat> I just I just do whatever people ask me to do. Whether it's made out of fondant, whether it's buttercream, um, if they want characters on the cake. Matter of fact, let me uh let me pull up one that I did. Hold on. Let's see. I do, I mean, I just people give me an idea and I just go with it. Like, here's some. I'm just going off my uh channel right here. Um Like, like, for instance, this one. Somebody told me they wanted a Sesame Street theme cake for their son's first birthday party. And he was turning one. So this is what I came up with. And it has a little bit of fondant as far as like the eyeballs, you know, the, you know, I don't know. Fondant is like the harder frosting for those people who don't know what fondant is. But um, that's what I came up with. She loved it. The kids loved it. It was awesome. She was overjoyed. Um, but let me see. Where's one of the wedding cakes I've done? Oh, here's here's something I did for a little boy. His mom, the lady who ordered this, said her son really, really loves wrestling. And he, I think he was eight years old. And she said he really loves wrestling. So that's what I created for the cupcake she wanted for his uh, birthday. So, you know, I just, people just give me an idea and I just go with it. Um... Here's one from a teacher. Somebody had ordered some cupcakes for a teacher's birthday. She's an elementary teacher. And a lot of that is fondant, which is edible, of course, and, and on top of the frosting on the cupcakes. But people just give me an idea, and I just go with the flow. But um, where's that wedding cake? 
Oh, and I do parties too. I do parties. There's a cake that I made for somebody's 50th birthday party. And then there's chocolate covered rice, crispy cheese, chocolate, chocolate covered pretzels, cupcakes. I think they ordered like five different kind of cupcakes. Oreo, Reese's, Twigs, banana pudding, strawberry shortcake. Um, it was a lot. That was a big order. That was my biggest order. And there's a picture of some of the chocolate covered uh, Rice Krispie treats. Here's one of the wedding cakes that I did. She wanted simple, white, blinged out. That was one of the wedding cakes I did a while back. Something simple. She wanted it to be gold and white. <coughs> Excuse me. But, um, yeah, so, oh, and this is a cake I made for my son's 21st birthday party. He said, Mom, I want a big chocolate Reese's peanut butter, peanut butter cake. So I made him a three-tier chocolate Reese's peanut butter cake with uh, peanut butter frosting and chocolate ganache and tons of Reese's. <laughs> the kids killed that cake. But um, as you can see, all my stuff is custom designed. Um, nothing that you'll find in the grocery store. That was for a little girl. Um, and I make whiskey cakes too. Here's a whiskey cake. It's a Crown Royal. It's whiskey inside the cake. I think it's a... Pint? No, not a pint. It's a fifth. Yeah, I think it's a fifth. A Crown Royal in there. But yeah, those are just some of the picks. Some of the picks I did. Oh, this was for the Super Bowl this year. Some lady ordered her uh, boyfriend a cake for the, his Super Bowl party. And that was his team. So I did that cake for her. But, yep, that's just a few things um, I do. Um, this cake was actually for my 16-year-old. Well, he's 17 now, but this was for his 16th birthday. He's a hooper, and he told me he wanted money on his cake. So, um, try to make it a little bigger for you. It's like I like pictures of $100, some Benjamins on there, a little basketball hoop ring, and a picture of him. Yeah, that was his 17th birthday. Yep, 17th birthday. So that was a two-tier cake I did for my 17-year-old son. But anywho, yeah. So that's how I get down. Whatever people want. Whatever people want. You know? <laughs> Custom cake decorator. Thank you. Thank you. Buttercream is like the fave. Most people love buttercream. Most people love buttercream. So, yeah, I mean, people give me an idea like, oh, God, let me show you all this one last one. This lady, I, I don't, she was referred to me from somebody and uh, she was referred to me from somebody and she had sent me a picture of what she wanted. And she was pregnant and she's an artist. And she sent me a picture. I think she inboxed it to me on Facebook. And it was just like a sketch. Here it is. Here's the sketch of what this lady sent me. And mind you, she's an artist, like a real artist. And she's pregnant and she was having a baby. And... She didn't know me from Adam. I didn't know her. She was just referred to me. And she sent me this sketch. She wanted a three-tier cake. And actually, she ended up changing it to a two-tier because she realized it wasn't going to be that many people at the baby shower. But first, she wanted a three-tier cake at the top. I couldn't know. I couldn't tell if that was pencils, pins, what the hell, and then wiggly lines going down the side. She said that's supposed to be paint. 
Um, you see a little baby pacifier on the top of the first tier. Um, it, that's what she sent me. <laughs> so sometimes you guys, I mean, you have to be really creative, you know, in this, in this business, but that's what she sent me. And after she sent me that, I'm like, okay, I came up with this. This is what I came up with. She's an artist. She wanted her baby shower cake to be like a painter artist design. So I put the big baby pee on the bottom like she wanted. I got a pacifier, you know, a little baby bottle. Uh, and, you know, can a can right here for paint. I got an easel on here. This stuff is fondant, not the baby pacifier and the, the can, but this stuff is fondant. All this right here, the paint splash, and um, that's the front of the cake. <clears throat> oh, those some football cupcakes somebody ordered, and this is the back of the cake. I have a painter's brush on the back and a little baby bottle, and that's the back of the easel. But some people, they either don't have like, any idea what they want or they just be like, um, could you just go with the flow? <laughs> they be like, could you just go with the flow? And I'll be like, um, okay, okay. And I'll be thinking, I hope they like what I come up with. But that's why I tell most people to go to my Facebook page. If you find something over there that you like, oh, yeah, I like this style right here, this design, you know, let me know. Or even go to Google, find a cake online. If you see something, I don't duplicate people cakes, but I'll go with the image and I'll go with your idea and make it into my own based off of your idea. So, yeah. But anywho, yes, buttercream is, ooh, yeah, I love buttercream frosting. And you know what? You know what's funny is I don't eat cake. <laughs> Y'all probably won't believe that, but it's true. I don't eat cake. And some people, when they find that out, they're like, how do you not eat cake, but you're a cake decorator? And how do you know what your cake tastes like? And how do you know what your homemade frostings taste like? And, well, when I first started out, I do over 20 different, rest 20 different cake flavors. And I do buttercream frosting, cream cheese frosting, um, lip frosting. I mean, whatever you want. But when I first started out, you know, I worked at a nursing home, which I still do part time. And I would bake stuff and I would take it over my family member's house. I would go to nail salons. I would go to gas stations. I would go to beauty salons. I would go to church. You know, my neighbors, I would take cakes to my neighbor's house they be like, oh my gosh, this is for us? Yeah, try it out. Let me know what you think. So, and then my kids, you know, I have sons. I have two sons. They would be my guinea pigs sometime. <laughs> and then sometimes I would have like free cakes tasting where I would come up with a different flavor or something. And I would tell people, I post it on Facebook from 6 to 10 at night, come get a free slice of cake. You know, check it out. Tell me what you think, you know. And if it's a big hit, I'll put it on my line of cake flavors and stuff. But no, I don't eat cake. Um, just, I'm a potato chip person. <laughs> I'm a potato chip person. <laughs> Not that I don't hate cake. I just never been big on cake. I just, I don't know. That's just how it is. I don't know. But anywho. Anywho, you know the saying as well, though, don't get high on your own supply. Because if I was a cake eater, if I was, shoot. <laughs> I'll be trying to dig into some of them cakes that I'll be making for people. <laughs> but yeah, so, but um, I don't know if y'all in the Midwest or not. I'm in Omaha and it's supposed to snow tonight. In about an hour, it's supposed to start snowing. And they're talking about up to six inches. So that's why I was saying earlier, I went to Wally World um, to grab a few things. Had my son pick up some toilet paper and I picked up a few groceries. 
after the movies and um uh, hopefully it won't be too bad here but i plan to be in the house in the heat chilling tomorrow if it do snow bad <laughs> if it do Who said what Trish, what you say? No eyeballs. I'm just going through the chat reading <laughs> comment. What Trish talking about? You know what? Darian Crown is bourbon. The whiskey cakes that I do, they are triple chocolate. They homemade triple chocolate um whiskey cakes. And it has to be with dark liquor. So I done made it out of Parmesan, Christian Brothers, Hennessy, Crown Royal, Jack Daniels. I mean, whatever, you know, whatever people. And, you know, I tell them, get whatever drink you want, bring it to me and I'll put it in your cake. So and then it cooks out. So it's not like I mean, a child could even eat the cakes because it is, it's not like the liquor. You, you won't get drunk off of it. <laughs> it's the, the liquor cooks out the cake and the flavor is still there. And that, that, bur that dark liquor, that bourbon, that flavor, that whiskey mixed with the triple chocolate. Oh my God. <laughs> it's better than sex. <laughs> and there's a cake that's there's a cake flavor called better than sex. No, my triple chocolate whiskey cakes are better than sex. You're gonna be like in love with that cake. But again, some people think because they don't drink liquor that oh I can't eat that. You know, I don't drink liquor. No, you won't get drunk. It's just the flavor. The flavor. <laughs> But yeah. Oh, oh Lord. Oh Lord. You said you shouldn't get into the marijuana business, Trish. <laughs> <sighs> Trish, that's right. You are on the East Coast. When y'all get winter storms, y'all get winter storms. I'll be watching the news, looking at the news like, oh, let me pray. Let us pray. Mm-mm. Yes, you will meet me one day because that's on our list of places to travel to um, every year. Me and my family and a cousin of mine and her kids, we go on vacation every single year. And basically, we all kind of like vote between the grownups and the kids. We kind of vote where we should go. And then we make plans every year and, you know, save up and, you know, book our hotels, you know, all that stuff travel stuff but we do that every year same click same crew every year and new york is on our list so i definitely will run into you really soon you said you want my cake lit buttercream i, I got you i got you <laughs> you said I want my guests drunk. <laughs> yes, the Midwest is about to get it, Miss Hogg. I don't I I'm praying it won't be as bad as they say. And I'm off for of work tomorrow. I don't have any cake orders, but my son, my 21 year old, he has to work tomorrow. And he delivers furniture. So they drive like the big huge trucks, you know, the big furniture trucks. He don't drive. He has a driver and he just helps load and unload. But they be traveling like out of town. They go um, to different cities in the area. Sometimes they stay here local, but most of the time they drive in hours on the interstates to deliver furniture and they got to drive back. So I'll be really like nervous and concerned when the weather is bad. I'll be like, can't you just call in? Catch it, mom. I'm going to miss out on my money. <laughs> I'll be like, boy, <laughs> it ain't like you're going to be broke. Shoot, you still stay home with your mama. If you miss one day at work, it ain't like you ain't going to eat. 
but your bills ain't gonna get paid. <laughs> but I feel him though. I feel him though. My son all about that money. He's all about school and money. He's a college kid and he works full time. So he's all about his business. But still, I'm like, if it be too bad, I don't know. You might have to call in. But it's supposed to start around one o'clock. He normally goes to work around six. So we'll just see what it do before the end. But Miss Hog, where are you at? Are you in the Midwest too? Or are you down south? I'm just trying to make sure I get to all my comments. Oh, you said a very innovative case. I got you. Oh, Darian, yes, I'm sorry. I just saw your comment. I do have IG. It's Tanya. Uh, well, actually, I have two of them. I have one for my cake business, and I have one for my uh, TV reviews channel. My TV reviews channel is Tanya Primetime TV, all one word. And my uh, cake decorating. Um, hold on, let me make sure I... Got it right. My cake decorating IG is Tanya Cake Lady, all one word. So I have two IGs. And then I'm on Twitter too at Tanya's Primetime TV slash Media News on Twitter as well. But yeah, I upload videos a lot to my IG. Oh, that's why right, you in North Carolina, Kakalaki. I've never been there, but I, I know it's beautiful. I know it's beautiful. That's another place I want to get to. I'm, I'm, I'm slowly trying to travel the world, y'all. My oldest, my youngest son is about to graduate from high school. And he's about to be up in college, too, like my oldest one. So I don't know if he's going to stay home, if he's going to go to college in another city or state. I don't know, but I do plan to do a lot more traveling once he graduates and get out this house <laughs> and get out this house. Shoot, I got plans to turn his room into my uh, office as well. <laughs> He's like, well, what am I supposed to do when I come home on break? Um, There's a couch in the living room. <laughs> There's a couch in the living room. <laughs> but no, I'm not going to put him out of his room. <laughs> Say, hey, no NC in the house. That's right. That's right. Well, y'all do know there's more than one black person in Omaha, right? I'm not the only one here, right? If y'all say y'all didn't know that, then I'm going to have to... <laughs> Because I hear it all the time, all the time. I was in um I was in uh Atlanta. We took our family vacation to Atlanta this summer in July. And we went to the uh the African that that black museum, the African Black Museum. Um I can't remember the exact name of it, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh and there was a lady there who was working and she was showing us around and stuff. And she was like, where y'all from? And when I said Omaha, she said, oh, my gosh, it's black people. In Omaha. I'm like, come on now. It's 2018. I've been hearing this since I was probably 12. <laughs> Especially when I used to work for telemarketing in high school. Be on the phone talking to people. They'd be like, where are you from? You sound black. And I'd be like, I am. And I'm from Omaha. And the next thing, there's black people in Omaha. Like, it's, it's, we deep up in here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you said I'm the only one. See? <laughs> You'd be surprised. I'm serious. You'd be surprised. Because I, Omaha is like, 
It's a small Chicago, a small Atlanta. It's fu- it's full of black people. Full of black people. I mean, of course, we got the whites. We got the Asians, Indians, like any other city, any other big city. We're the biggest city here in Nebraska. So a lot of black people migrated here from Mississippi, uh, Tennessee, Alabama, you know, Georgia, back in the 70s. Because back then, there was the big railroad company here, you know, UP. And they had a lot of railroad jobs, a lot of packing houses jobs. So um, it was it was a lot of big companies here back in the 70s. Purex, I mean, a lot of manufacturing jobs. So a lot of people migrated from down south where they weren't getting good jobs and good pay and brought their families here. And so most people here is like, where are your people from? Mississippi, Georgia, Arkansas. <laughs> yep. It's deep up in here. It really is. I'm not going to lie to you. It really is. Everywhere you go, all you see is black. <laughs> oh, they the bomb. I used to uh, work there part time. Um, during the Christmas season, oh man, you can make so much money working at Omaha Steak, Lord, and you get good discounts too. Like every um out of our family members, we all like have a different holiday throughout the year that we would have at our house that we would host, and mine is Labor Day. So Labor Day is I would order Omaha steaks, and oh Jesus, mm, and cook them on the grill. Omaha steaks are the bomb. They are the bomb. They they really really good. That's one thing we are known for here in Omaha is our steaks. <laughs> Shoot, that beef. <laughs> Shoot, y'all remember that commercial way back in the day? Wendy's commercial. Where's the beef? <laughs> but yeah, it's a lot of black people up here. It's a lot. But you just wouldn't know because um, I don't know. I don't know why. You know that movie was filmed here? Well, actually, <coughs> what is that movie? Uh, Belly? Remember Belly? They was, in, they was rolling through the streets of Omaha. Yep. And that was back when the Belly come out in 90... Like, 93? 94? I can't remember. Belly. I can't remember when that came out. But yeah, y'all remember the uh, scenes when they was rolling through Omaha? But yep. Yeah. So it's it's cool here. It's it's it, it's a it's like a normal uh big city. We have our, you know, urban areas and then we have our crime areas and we have, you know, it's not a lot of crime here like it used to be back in the 80s and 90s when gangs were coming from the West Coast. Like all our Crips and our Bloods came through, started coming through Omaha in like the late 80s, early 90s. And back then, like a lot of big cities, it was a lot of gangs, a lot of drugs. But, you know, as the years progressed and gangs are kind of windling down. I always say people who still in gangs these days, especially if they grown, like grown, grown, like 30, 40 years old. Y'all tired and through. I'm sorry. Tired and through. (laughs) Tired and through. You still walking around with a rag hanging out your pocket and you 40, 50 years old, tired and through. <laughs> Darian sleep. You said Darian always sleep and laugh out loud, wake up. Uh, yeah, Darian probably went to sleep. <laughs> But, you know, I'm about to get off of here, too. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't want to keep y'all here all night. I'll probably just sit around and watch some TV. 
maybe check out something on Netflix because I'm not tired. Um, I just, I don't know. I'll find something to watch. The boys are asleep. So, well, I think my youngest son probably still up because he was playing live on a uh, PlayStation, playing somebody live on PlayStation. Yeah, I'm about to call it night too, Miss Hall. Toodles, sweetie. Trish, she's talking about don't go. <laughs> don't go. <laughs> Good night, Miss Hall. And Darian, wherever you are, sleep well. But sis Trish, you make sure we get another game in this week. Or do you normally just do them on Fridays? Because those are really interesting and they really make you think. And as the older we get, the more we have to, you know, exercise our brains. Wednesday and Saturday. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. See, midnight. And that's why every time, every time you come through, what I'll be like, I'm like, I'm up here baking. I'm watching. <laughs> I'm watching. <laughs> well, you know I'll be there as soon as I see the notification. I'll be there. I'll pull. I'll pull through so I can exercise my brain. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. I I really don't have any um, shows to review. I don't think tomorrow because some of the shows that normally come on Wednesday um, are on a hiatus. And all the other shows, I reviewed them, caught up. Some of them uh, was the uh, finales. And some new shows are going to start coming out next week. So I don't have any shows to review tomorrow. So I don't know. But if y'all go live, I'll, I'll just come to y'all uh, chat. If y'all go live tomorrow, because most likely I'll be sitting up in here snowed in. <laughs> snowed in, trying to stay warm. But anywho, you guys, thanks for tuning in tonight. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And you guys, um, please keep in mind, I do have two YouTube channels. Um, this one, Tanya Knows No Limit. And also Tanya's Primetime TV slash media reviews. Um, and then up in the chat. I did put the links for our Facebook group, the Tanya's Primetime Facebook group. Just click on that link, click request to join, and I'll add you to the group. We're trying to build up that group so we can have discussions in there as well. And um, then there's the link that I put in there for my cake decorating page on Facebook. So you can check that out too if you like. But in the meantime and in between time, Primetime Squad, good night, Trish. Good night, Queen. You might as well go to sleep now. See, y'all going to be going to bed. And I'm going to be sitting up in here looking at the TV like. <laughs> but it's okay. I'll fall asleep eventually. <laughs> but anyway, you guys have a wonderful night, a wonderful evening. Um, if y'all in the mid Midwest where the snow is coming, stay safe. Stay warm. Don't try to go out there in them streets. <laughs> I'm going to act like the weatherman. Don't try to go out there in them streets if you don't have to. Stay your butt home and enjoy that good old heat from that furnace. <laughs> but, you guys, I'll be back at you tomorrow. Um, I don't have any reviews again. Like I'll just probably come and chop it up with y'all tomorrow or hit y'all on y'all chats if y'all go live tomorrow. Because I love, I love, I love the support that some of the YouTubers show um, with each other and I'm really big on that and I appreciate support that I get so that's why I try to support you guys as well and come to your chats and you know all that stuff subscribe like share all right you guys until we meet again stay safe be blessed and I'm out <laughs>